kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my another video tutorial series on Android app development. And so guys, in this video series, I am going to teach you everything about the web services using retrofit library in Android Studio. And in this video tutorial series, I will be using the Java language, but uh, I will make another video series and that will be on Kotlin right so let's get started so before wasting any time as you can see that i already have uh, created my project and i will first of all tell you what we are going to do in this video series so let me show you so here we have it like this let me show you okay so right now what we are going to do is we are going to use all these uh, things and I will be teaching you uh, on how you, we can uh, fetch the data from the retrofit, how we can insert the data and update it, uh, update and all the features that we are going to use. So guys in this in this specific video I will we will be talking about how we can use the post using the form URL encoded and we will be using the field the uh, parameter using mysql database so let's get started so before wasting any time let me just open uh, vamp server so here we will open the vamp server here if you do if you do not have the vamp server you can download it from google so basically it is a web server that is run on that is run on php and we can access the php my admin here and we can create the database using the mysql database right so in the meanwhile if it is started so we have this android studio project so first of all what we are going to do is we will be creating this xml file and here basically the user will be able to enter the data and we can uh, uh, send the data through the, the uh, through the retrofit web services to the web server so how we are going to achieve that in this video you will learn it right so first of all as you can see that we have the web server ready and it is in the green its color is green so it means that everything is set up so here we are going to here we are going we have to go to c drive then we have to go to web and then www and in here we will be creating our own folder or uh, our project folder so here we can say like retro retrofit youtube all right so that is the project and in here we are going to create a file and that will be the php file for the registration part of the user so here we are going to create register and let me just open it and you have to click on file save as and instead of text you have to specify all files and then here you can say dot php right and click on save and here you can see that it has created the php file of this and we can just uh, remove here and we have the php the file here <laughs> ready but we will do that in our sometime later so first of all let me open my android studio so here first of all we will create on we will be integrating the libraries which are required so first of all we need the bind the butter knife library to bind our view so for that let me open it and here we have this so we will just uh, copy that and we will paste it here and after this we are going to paste the libraries for the retrofit because we will be using the retrofit library inside our project and now we have to click on sync now right so after it is done we are going to specify the xml file or the network security configuration so for that we have because it is required after android 11 since our api uh, compile sdk version is 34 so we have to use that so for that click right click on the resource and click on new and click android resource directory then here we have to specify xml here xml and then we can create new xml resource file and in here let me just try okay or 
with what an empty file and here let me specify the network security configuration okay so click ok and in here we have this file and let me just remove this one and we will just uh, copy paste it as I do not want to waste your time so you can just uh, pause the video and paste this on your own so here I am just going to remove everything and paste it here okay and after this we are going to Android the manifest file and here we have to specify the XML file so for that let me write network Android network security configuration XML and there we have network security security configuration so that is everything that we are we are now we have set up the environment so now we have, are going to write the code so inside our main activity we just need edit text and we need a button so for that in order to uh, in order to uh, to not to waste your time so i have just copied it here so we will just use this one so i will just copy that everything and we are going to just paste it here right so here you can see let me just write okay let me just remove that okay so here you can see we have the email we have password name age and register so and before that let me just write read and no action bar because we are using the or I think we don't have to use the uh, toolbar here in our activity so I will just remove the toolbar from here and here we will just remove this line and everything is now set up so here we have the ID as ED register email password ED pass register password ED register name ED register age so here first of all we have to bind our view so we can say butter knife dot bind and we have to pass on this and then we can easily bind our views by using the bind view library here we can use our dot id dot register ed register email here we can use edit text ed email and then we just have to integrate import the classes for these two class uh, edit text and for the bind view and similarly we can just say it like for the, the ed register password and here we can say ed password then we can say ed register name here we can specify ed name and then we can say ed register age and here we can say ed age right so after this we are going to create a, a function and that function is basically okay so here we can say public void register user right and here we can pass on our view and for that let me just clear, uh, click on register user and go to your XML file and inside this button we can say register user or if you can just write this one right so whenever the button is clicked this register user will be opened so after this what we are going to do is here we are going to write okay so here first of all we can say string email equal to ed email dot get text dot to string similarly for the password ed password dot get text dot to string then we have the uh, name equal to ed name dot get text dot to string similarly for the age equal to ed age dot get text 
dot to strip right so here we can check if email is empty or password is empty or name is empty and age is empty right if any of these things are empty we just need to print a message and we can say no blank fields allowed right so here after this we are going to uh, write the message and we just want to write a function that will is registered so here we will create our function and we can say private void register and inside this register we need to pass all these variables so we have the password then we have name and age right and here we can receive those values by using string email string password string name and string age right so after this what we have to do is now we have to write or access the retrofit library so before that we have to initialize the library so how we can initialize our library first of all we have to specifically create a class and that is the api client so right click here inside your java and click on java class in here we have to write api client and here we are going to use public static final string and here we can say our base url because we are have to access the server so here we can use our base and here we can specify so after this we have to use public static retrofit right so after this we have to use the static function of this retrofit because it is a singleton class so we have to specify public static retrofit get retrofit or get api client we can say get api client and inside this we can first of all check if the retrofit is equal to null so we can say we have to use the json so here we have to pass on our json because we have to convert this uh, json using the json uh, converter library right so here we can say new json builder and here we can say set lenient and then we can say dot create right we have created the json file and now we can pass on our this to our retrofit class so here we can say retrofit equal to new retrofit dot builder dot base url and we have to specify our url here and after this we have to use add converter factory and here we can use json converter factory dot create and in here we have to pass on our json object and finally we have to use the build the method and after it is done here we can return the retrofit object here right so so whenever this api client uh, application is open so we have to get this uh, this method right so everything is now set up now we have to use the uh, we have to integrate or create an interface so we have to and uh, before let me just i have uh, forgotten so we have to implement it with serializable so we have to use the serializable interface here right so i think the video is very long now we will continue from our next part of this video series so guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you and goodbye